he can't be on top every single season. I mean, even in Tallahassee, where they had their bit of digression, but we knew it was going to be a rebuilding year for FSU. But still, if going to a major bowl game and winning 10 ball games is considered a year where you've digressed, hey, you'll take it. And last year, despite the inexperience on the offensive line side, it was still one hell of a year for running back Dalvin Cook. He is a legitimate Heisman Trophy candidate for 2016, and why not? Just look at his numbers from a year ago. And in spite of the fact that he missed a game because of injury, had hamstring issues, but also the wear and tear of the season behind an inexperienced offensive line, Dalvin Cook proved to be not only one of the most talented backs in the country, but also one of the toughest. And last year, it was a struggle at times for that Florida State offensive line, but in their defense, they had a lot of inexperience up front. So you got seven guys with starting experience from a year ago returning for FSU, including the best of the bunch, that's left tackle Roderick Johnson. So we'll see if Florida State can improve in at least two areas on the offensive line. Red zone touchdown efficiency and third down conversions. That will be a key for Florida State being that two-dimensional attack that Jimbo Fisher is looking for. Sean McGuire has to do a better job as far as the lateral passing attack. They didn't really didn't have one last season, and it costed them because defenses were loading up on Talvin Cook. Receivers, they have a lot of experience there, including Travis Rudolph returning. We'll see if Florida State can become that two-dimensional offensive attack and not just a Dalvin Cook type offense. <laughs> You might remember a couple years ago when Florida State went undefeated in the regular season. The defense struggled like crazy, though. Last season, the defense was much better, giving up just 17.5 points per game, one of the tops in the country. Defensive line was a big reason why, probably the most experienced area this year for Florida State, including the legitimate player, Demarcus Walker, from his defensive end spot. Should have a fine season. Not very experienced at linebackers, so watch that area for FSU. But defensive backs, they seem to always do well in this area, even if they have a lot of inexperience. Last season, the freshman Derwin James had one heck of a year. You got him back. And keep an eye on this freshman as well entering this season. Talking about cornerback Levante Taylor. Hey, Brian. Oh, sweet. Morning drinking. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Party! Six pack of games to consume. Of course, we know FSU very difficult to beat at home. However, there are three toughest September games. None of them are at Bill Campbell Stadium. And neither is the October rivalry with Miami. However, ACC champion Clemson does have to come to Tallahassee, and so does SEC rival Florida. Enough talent for Florida State to have another double digit winning season? Of course. However, September could be a pretty rough month for Florida State. And that Clemson showdown, yeah, it's at Tallahassee, but Deshaun Watson's one heck of a quarterback as Florida State might find out again. That's my look at the Seminoles. See you next time.